All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be yet another unboxing of a Savox Servo. I've kind of went a little servo crazy lately here at the RC Network, and uh, this is the new 1270 TG Servo. Uh, this is part of their new line of servos. Uh, these things are uh, part of the high voltage series and definitely have some pretty cool features. Now, the 1270 series, they have the 1270, 71, 72, and 73. They all have slightly different traits and also different specs as far as uh, uh, a steel gear versus titanium gear. They have different uh, speeds. They have an ultra speed. They have an ultra torque, uh, monster torque, all sorts of different variations. So definitely check out the differences on those. Now I chose the 1270 and this is going to be going in a new project here at the RC Network. It's going to be going in an 8 scale project that I cannot quite reveal yet. So without further ado, let's take a look at this servo. Um, you know, once again, I, I'm just prone to Savox. I don't know why. I just, I've had uh, several Savox servos over the years, and this one is one of my first uh, that's going to be a uh, not only a, a high speed one, but also that's going to pack lots of torque for that 8 scale project. Uh, now, first off, you definitely see the high voltage little icon right there uh, 1270 TG, T stands for titanium gear, and uh, 1270 is our new series. So uh, let's check out some of the specs on here. Um, as far as the speed of this thing at 7.4 volts, uh, 0.11 uh, second response time. And for some reason, they only included the uh, kilogram, uh, 35 right there, but I just did a quick cross-reference, and it's 487 inch ounces. Uh, today, this is going to be my most torquey servo, so uh, definitely going to be good for that 8 scale project. Um, kind of see a little bit of a new top cap on this servo, and we'll kind of do that here when we open this thing up. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get inside the box, and take a look at this new servo from Savox. So, um, you know, I, I've kind of mentioned this on a lot of the unboxings that I do for uh, these Savoxes, is uh, I just love the box. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just I love using these things for parts and whatnot, and I just kind of sharpie up, you know, what project I'm working on, you know, whether it be the Slash or the SEX10, throw all the parts in there. That way, I I don't go mine numb trying to figure out, you know, what's standard and what's metric and all that other stuff. So uh, inside here, you know, of course, that great gold anodized aluminum uh, case that it's in. Um, you know, just super good looking servo to say the least. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box. And let's do some of the boring stuff first. Um, the hardware it comes with is, it's just great. I mean, it comes with those very, uh, wide shouldered screws to really kind of keep the servo, uh, in its holder and, you know, all the different grommets and hardware that you may need to, um, install for your application, so pretty cool. Um, servo horns, lots of different options there, you know, different things for different vehicles and specs. You have the little uh, mounting screw there, and you also got the little lock nut or locking washer right there, too, to keep it all nice and tight. As far as other things inside the package, I always like to check this out in case there's a variation. Uh, you got the Savox stickers, which is always great. And a little business card right here just kind of talking about the warranty, which I've actually never had to use for a Savox. So good that they offer the warranty, but uh, I've never had to use it, so can't really uh, tell you about it. So one-year warranty on it, and I'm sure it's limited to some degree. So um, let's pull this thing out of the box here. Wow, long receiver lead. And I think you know they definitely take into consideration that People are going to be using this in larger vehicles, considering the 500 almost inch ounces of torque. And I'd have to guess on this thing about 12 inches in length on the receiver lead. And, you know, really cool looking servo here. It's kind of, I guess, somewhat streamlined. It is uh, kind of rounded over, has that new uh, kind of look to it, which is pretty cool. Um, really dig the little high voltage kind of icon on there. 
digit coreless servo. Coreless, of course, stands basically that it, right when you first start turning the uh, dial on your remote, you're going to get immediate torque. It's not going to ramp up, so to speak. So, uh, all in all, very cool. There's the official model number on there, SV1270TG. Titanium geared once again. Has that little S logo right there on the far side, which is pretty cool. And let's do a really quick size comparison. A lot of guys out there have these 1258s, but just want to go ahead and show you guys the difference in the size, which there is none. So pretty much the same size servo. So, I mean, you're looking at 166 uh, inch ounces versus 487. Oh my God. So... That's it for now, guys. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick unboxing of the new 1270 series. And uh, that's it for now. So if you have any questions, once again, about Savox servos, uh, this one, or the RC network in general, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.